January to December That's every night to remember You say you go put the army Say you no go do me go. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Muslim, please If you're new to this channel, make sure you click like Of course, it's all right now I'm right here with my brother Adewale And we are yet to discuss a very important Topic right here regarding The former unified Heavyweight champion and to Joshua, let's not forget our two time is our two time unified everywhere ruler in the game. And uh, I was supposed to do this like 10 days ago or so, but I don't know, man. Just just be busy and do other things. And then when I'm free, I'm like, I don't know, man. Just somehow because our guys are not always available, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll try to do our, we'll do our best to to. Get, to try to get back on track now i know that adewale is a big fan of deontay water um in fact you're what um i would call a wilder super fan and looking at the joking as joshua's uh, performance against otto wallen i know you've given joshua props you know my question to you right now is that is Joshua really back or is he just warming up? Thank you, brother. Um, that's a great question, man. I honestly feel like AJ is at a point where in his career he has started climbing back up in you know the confidence that we the boxing fans have for our favorite fighters like you said rightly in the introduction being a deontay wilder strong fan i have always criticized aj i have always found a way to to just criticize this guy just naturally that's just how it works because boxing is a very emotional sport but I have to say, AJ is on the way back. I would give him 80% credit in terms of being fully back. I'm not going to say that he's completely back because he showed so much courage. He showed so much confidence in the fight. Now, in the build up towards the fight, he was mean mugging. He wasn't speaking too much. He almost looked like he was me. I criticized him because I felt like that wasn't real. That wasn't the original AJ that we all knew. But his performance in the ring showcased a serious fighter that needed to revive his career. And he demolished, completely obliterated Otto Walling. I was expecting Walling to put up a better fight, but he didn't. I'm not going to take anything away from AJ's performance by saying Wallen didn't fight at his best, I'm just going to give AJ the full credit because he completely destroyed this guy. From like the second or third round, Wallen looked like a completely lost fighter in the ring. He had no clue what he was dealing with. And AJ dominated and beat this guy up. By the way, kudos to Otto Wallen's corner for throwing in the towel and stopping the fight because Wallen would have been seriously hurt if that fight continued. Now, there is one other aspect that I need to put in. Wallen, to an extent, did not present the level of challenge that I expected. So I'm going to say that, let's see what happens next. If AJ fights another opponent that brings a real fight and he dominates, wins convincingly, then I'm going to increase that percentage Um of him being back to 100 from 80%. That's where I stand. Yeah, bro, I'm listening. Yeah, that's where I stand, bro. I just gave down the full break. Now, Otto Wallin, the victory of AJ over Otto Wallin, in my opinion, it's 80% of him being back to the top where he was. Um, 
the next fight will be the final determinant. If AJ fights, um, I heard rumors of him fighting against uh, Francis Ogano. We've always known that he was about to fight for the IBF title against Filip Hergovic. So if either Ngannou or Hergovic puts up a good fight against Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua can convincingly defeat either fighter without any questions, then I will give him 100% ratings in terms of him being back to the top. Thanks, brother. Okay, I would have Joshua. I would the Joshua that fought to Alim Fair against uh, Usyk in a trilogy. <sighs> he will do better. I think the AJ that fought against Otto Wallin will definitely be better than the AJ that fought against Usyk in the two fights. Because in the fight against Otto Wallin, Otto Wallin presented similar challenges, being in Southpaw, being someone that moves to an extent. I mean, he doesn't move like Usyk. He doesn't have the head movement or the leg, the footwork. Usyk is a very, very talented fighter. Otto Wallin also, standing at six foot six, presented a easier target to hit, plus limited head movement, like I said. But there were some similarities with Otto Wallin and Usyk, being a southpaw and slightly slick. And AJ was able to come forward and be dominant. The first two rounds, it almost seems like AJ was being tentative. He wasn't, you know, imposing his will. But by the third round, he was completely confident and he was marching forward and punching this guy in the nose, in the body, everywhere, man. He was punching this guy all over the body from head to toe, bro. So I just feel like if AJ fights Usyk a third time right now, AJ is now a better fighter. The two fights against Usyk sharpened AJ's tools. So him fighting against Usyk a third time, an aging Usyk that, in my opinion, lost to Daniel Dubois. Usyk lost to Dubois. I don't care what anybody says. That's what I saw. The punch landed clean. That fight was extremely political. Before that fight began, we saw the president of Ukraine addressing the crowd. How ridiculous is that, bro? In a time when Ukraine is fighting against Russia and there is so much um, um, extreme support for either side, so clearly there was a lot of political situation going on on the undertone. No way that punch that Daniel Dubois landed on Usyk was a low blow. That was a legit punch, but I guess he was robbed, right? So in my opinion, if AJ fights against an Usyk that is older, that was knocked out by Daniel Dubois, it will be a much better performance by AJ. I'm not saying that he wins, but more than likely, I would support, I would favor AJ to win that fight in Usyk if there was a trilogy right now. Thanks, but I appreciate your take on this. Guys, you've heard it from Abola Dewale. He says he will have to see more of Joshua first before he, he will say, okay, he's totally, he's, uh, totally back. Because I would say, Joshua needs to be active this year. Okay, this year he needs to be active as it was last year. Because I noticed something about Joshua. The more active he is, the more dangerous he is. After he beat Klitschko and beat Parker, um, he kind of became very... No, after he beat Klitschko, he kind of became very inactive. You know, he started fighting twice a year and stuff like that. And going to too many like doing too many vacations as a fighter you have to st joshua definitely stays in the gym no doubt but there's difference between staying in the gym to be just for you to be fit or staying in the gym for boxing to sharpen sharpen, sharpen your mind and i believe that joshua lately stayed in 2023 he stayed in the gym to sharpen his mind his boxing mind you know his mentality you know he locked himself in the room in the darkest room in the world according to the according to the news that he locked himself up for for hours in a dark room with no light and i think that kind of helped his mindset 
and bring that that beast that we know we knew we've always known is there and he showed it in the past it's been to show it again people say yeah Otto Wallen didn't it was, it was didn't uh, move come forward well Otto Wally wanted to pounce on Joshua but when he saw that Joshua was just too sharp and Joshua was just Joshua countered Otto Wally many times Otto Wally just kind of like uh, said nah, I can't be this guy today you know can't so it's one of those things you just look at and, and kind of appreciate Otto Wally was also very very sincere when he was after uh, after after when he was asked in an interview how he fed and stuff like that i expected him to make some excuses but he said listen he was just he said he was a class outclassed by joshua like he didn't expect it you know he was there he, everything was fine he, he was ready but joshua's sharpness you know caught him off guard you know all of those things that happened stay together my super god bless you for the channel cheers